Hello keyboard cooks, welcome back to Retro Recipes. In part one of this project, I started to turn the grey Commodore Music Maker into something like this. Hmm. So we added some filter dials, sprayed plastic primer, then a classic glossy piano red that would make Elton John jealous. But trust me, the best is yet to come in part two as we try to make a hit record when we refurbish this. Now to start off the finishing touches, I used a fine tipped white sharpie paint pen and just filled in the top raised section of the logo. Hmm, not too shabby. So now I need to make a hole here for the grommet. go. Good. I'm going to put those in upside down. Great, so that won't come out. I'm going to put the keyboard in. This is kind of the moment I've been waiting for. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Hmm. <laughs> I was drilling backwards. Uh. It's in. Didn't break. It's in. <laughs> hmm. So I was thinking about naming this and Commodore Music Maker, CMM. This is like version two and it's red and Put the little uh, equal sign from the Commodore logo, e equals MC squared. Let's get these lovely shiny red keys in there. Maybe this should go in a bit easier. Oh, I want to play this so badly. Ugh, gave me chills. This is everything that I wanted it to be. And soon it will be more. Look what I got. <laughs> ah, like a kid in a candy shop store, depending if you're American. Which to go with? Well, surprise. I already decided on these. I think I'm gonna switch that for yellow. There we go. Nice. And so one of the guides that I followed told me to use 250k potentiometers. And I did that, soldered them in, glued them in, and of course, they're wrong. <laughs> they would only turn up about a quarter or a third of the way. So I switched them to 500k logarithmic potentiometers. And these now give me full control of the filters. Looks like a normal roll of tape. Look how thin it is. This is pinstriping tape. And hopefully it's going to help me put a little embellishment. Hmm. Hey, and you know if it goes wrong, we can just peel it off. Clean my hands so that we don't leave any residue on the sticky. The end is just as hard to find as any other uh, roll of tape. I may be here for some time. Hmm. Now. <laughs> the challenge begins. Interesting. What do you think? Hooky turkey! An exciting moment. We've got some LEDs arrived. Is an LED really uh, electrostatic sensitive? I don't think it is. Ah, uh, yeah, this is what we want. And it has a resistor in line. Well, 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 well. This looks really nice. Plug in our red 
joystick cable, so that's going to be going like that. And now I have power. Bring that through again. What a suitably retro style LED that is. We have way more cable than we need. Uh, well, which one to cut? This is pre tin, so yeah, I'll just do that. Reveal my handiwork here a little bit. So it doesn't matter that we already have a resistor on there, you can put them in series. So if you go to this website, it's actually a calculator, and it'll tell you what kind of resistor you should put in a circuit if you're trying to drop down the power. So this is a 3.5 volt LED, and this is a five volt power. Doesn't matter which direction they go in. this down. Let's try that out. Let there be light. <gasps> ah. You know, this used to be just a redundant piece of plastic. It's now a powered, tentiometered, Damn sexy looking piece of plastic. Just imagine it's Christmas, 1983. You unwrap your gift and take the lid off this. Mummy, what have you bought me? Oh, well, it's what you wanted. It's the CMM2 Red. Oh yes, Mummy, it is, it is. It's just what I always wanted. I just wish it came on disc. Put this in here. Kind of like something like that. And I'll put a link below this video to everything that I've used to make this, so you have a little shopping list. So yeah, it just sticks out. Cut a little curved line into this. And to help us with our template, we're going to use part of a Yeti beer cooler. This has a rubber thing on the top, keeps your beer bottle or can Really cool. And I don't need a manicure. I like to use emery boards. I find them actually a really good way just to sand down very fine material. And I'm not going to be painting this red because the unit already has black features, has black knobs. The Akai has also black side panels. So this is kind of going to be my black back panel. Oh, that's good. That's really solid. Nice thing about making videos is I don't have to take notes. 25. We could screw through and then we'd have nice little silver rivets. I don't know why Commodore redesigned their whole thing for the C64C. All I needed was this. Doesn't move left or right. Up or down. 
Ayan. That's it, the CMM2 Red. One thing left to try. Let's make some music. I'm going to rudely interrupt myself here just to thank you for joining me on this little journey. Amazing to think really that every single sound you're hearing was recorded from this keyboard. And indeed, if you'd like your own shiny copy of the MP3 plus an enhanced radio edit, ooh, just check out the links. Now I'll leave you now with the dulcet tones of my Commodore 64. So until next time, cheerio!